Afternoon, everyone. I'm going to call the Internal Services Committee meeting to order. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Next, I'll need a motion to adopt the agenda. Motion from Commissioner Brown, support from Commissioner Romano. Please vote. Motion passes, nine to zero. Next is the approval of the minutes dated April 15th, 2019. I'll take a motion to approve motion from Commissioner Haas, support from Commissioner Lucido. Please vote. Motion passes nine to zero. Next up is public participation. Anybody from the public wishing to speak on any items on this agenda, you have five minutes. Give us your name and address. Anybody wishing to speak going once? Nobody's jumping up. Twice, three times, all right, we'll close public participation. Next is item 6A, department recommendations, a budget amendment, capital improvement fund, development of formal bid specifications for the demolition of the probate court building in the amount of $59,000. Take a motion to move it to full board. Motion from Commissioner Duje, support from Commissioner Carabelli. Lynn, take her away. Thanks for catching that, Andre. Can you turn your mic on, Lynn? <laughs> uh, I'm requesting a budget amendment, and this expenditure is for the development of the formal bid specifications for the demolition of the probate court building. As you're probably aware, uh, the probate court has moved into the court building, and so that building is vacant. Uh, we would like to utilize ABF Environmental to develop these specifications, and then the uh, bid would go on the Mitten site. Thank you, Lynn. Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, if you can't answer this, I know Deputy uh, Executive uh, uh, Delden is here. Is uh, There was a couple of buildings we talked about tearing down. Is this just like one of two? or uh, This is one of them. Uh, and then eventually, uh, we want the health department to move into the Verkulin building, and we'd be demolishing the Mount Clemens Health Center. Do you know the time frame on your thoughts of when uh, that The might... state has anticipated moving in March of 2020. So then we would do, once it's vacated, we would do the renovation, and then we would move the health department. And not to uh, confuse the situation more, what was the status of the uh, facility uh, the state was running from us in a uh, in Warren off of uh, Van Dyke? What's the name of that building? Is this Majestic Plaza you're referring to? Is that to? the one? Um, what ended up? What was the decision from the executive office? What do you got? What ended up happening with uh, uh, some? Weren't they moving out, and then we may get out of that, or was there a status of? <coughs> Where it sits right now, I've been in contact with the state, and they have a process that they are going through for approval. And one of the items that the person that proposed the development, he has to come in with the warranty deed proving ownership. I get the impression maybe he just recently purchased the property and is working through that. So I know they gave him a deadline to submit that documentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Commissioner Duje. Uh, thank you, Madam, Mr. Chair. Um, Lynn, question. Uh, when all this stuff, is there any plans to put anything else on this uh, property once this is taken out? No, not as yet. I mean, we're, that building happens to have a basement, so we have to pull all the foundations out. Uh, the engineered fill comes in. So this it. is going to be a lot more involved than just knock it down and call it a right. day. Um, does all the equipment, some of the probate equipment that they're used inside, it, like these microfish readers and stuff that's that that was outmoded in the last millennium, uh, 
Are, is some of that getting moved? Are they still using that, or are they upgrading some of their technology there? Uh, purchasing pretty much looks at that item, uh, and they determine what we need to salvage and send over to old receiving. Right. But I don't know about the microfish equipment. Right. On a mechanical standpoint, anything that we feel we can utilize in another building, right. and it's a decent age, we'll, usually we'll salvage Maybe to a fault. So. Well, uh, hopefully it'll work out. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Next is Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, hold is this building? Do you have any the, idea? The, the, the one we're taking court? down. Yeah, the one we're we taking. We do. Probate court. How old is it? Uh, I think the original construction might go back to the 60s. How about asbestos? Uh, there was an environmental assessment done. Yes, there is some. Uh, that will be removed properly. We'll be going out for bids for the removal of that. Good. Thank you. That's all I have. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. Commissioner Ha. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Lynn, if I'm looking at the two agenda items, the first one is to develop the formal specifications. That's 59. And the second one is to award ABF the environmental development. So that's the yes. The first in the one two. is the budget amendment, and then the the second uh, item is to actually contract with ABF to do the bid specifications. Thank you. And Jan Haggerty said to tell you hello. Oh, tell her I said hello. Well, I have Mr. Chair. <laughs> Thank you. Seeing no other speakers, please vote. Motion passes 10 to 0. All right, next up is 6B. Uh, motion to recommend uh, proposal ABF environmental development of formal bid specifications for the demolition of the probate court building in the amount of 59000 I'll take a motion to move to full board. Motion from Commissioner Haas, support from Commissioner Carabelli. Any questions or comments on this item? I think we covered them all in the last one. Please vote. Motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Next is item 6C, a budget amendment, capital improvement fund, Can-Am Technologies Teller Cash Register Project for Treasurer's Office in the amount of $139,890. I'll take a motion to move to full board. Uh, move by Commissioner Brown. Support from Commissioner Lucido. Go ahead, Jaco. Um, this is a request for a cash register system for the Treasurer's Office. Um, the cash registers are used by them to provide receipts to the public when the business when business is conducted at their office. The current system that's in there is aged, uh, really old, uh, and also the treasurer has been notified that the company that support this is not going to support this anymore. Uh, it's on an old Windows XP environment, and it's also not PCI compliant. Um, we are therefore asking for a budget amendment for 139,890, uh, and this was put out to bid uh, by the treasurer's office. Uh, the deputy treasurer, Joe Biondo, is here as well, so in case there's any business questions. Thank you, Jaco. Uh, we have a few questions. Commissioner Leonetti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Joe, or I don't know either one of you guys, um, is are these new registers going to incorporate uh, uh, credit card uh, ability to pay on a credit card. Hello, Commissioner. Joe yeah, good to see you, Joe. Treasurer. Uh, yes, that's in fact one of the deciding points on going with this vendor versus the other vendor that bid on this. They indicated that they could not integrate with J.P. Morgan Chase. In fact, they were indicating to us that we would have to go with their credit card readers uh, as sort of a part of the package, and that's not a direction we wanted to go in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, 
First question, Jaco, um, was this um, a new ask or is this budgeted and it's just more than what it was original? This was not budgeted in, the, uh, in this year's budget. Uh, we sat down, uh, the treasurer, myself, and Steve Schmiegel, and uh, discussed this, and uh, it was a critical item that we had to do. And uh, <clears throat> we believe that there's enough money in our cap capital budget to, uh, to serve this. And if I can just add to that, uh, originally our intentions were to uh, come to the board during the normal budget process. What forced our hand on this was the fact that we were notified uh, sometime during the fourth quarter of last year that the vendor would not be able to maintain the system anymore. Uh, November, uh, we put it out to bid, and in December, we got the bids. And since then, we've been working with the IT department with follow-up meetings along with J.P. Morgan Chase to make sure that everything is going to integrate properly once we move on this. Okay, I'm asking this question because I don't know. Is there a fee, not credit card, is there a fee for uh, coming in and paying here, or is it just you pay it and there's no fee to the customer? So this is just for the cash registers. Uh, the J.P. Morgan credit card reader is something we addressed with the board back in December. And whatever fees that somebody might incur for using a credit card would be borne by the user, but that's separate from this cash Correct. register issue. But there's no uh, uh, income from the usage of this. This is just part of doing business on our behalf. Correct. Our 20-year-plus cash registers are breaking down on us. We don't have the vendor available to maintain it, and we need to replace these. Not a problem. Now, the last question I have, uh, I don't know if it was your office or Jayco's office that filled out the... Uh, license and maintenance fees that you have about $100,000 over the next three years. Is that, um, was there a cost before what you were paying monthly? Uh, I Did would have to look that up. Maybe Jacob yeah, would know. There was, I, I honestly do not know the number, but it was a very low number, so I can, uh, I can send that to you. Because, and this is why we had asked for this to be put out, because now it says, all right, hey, you're spending $139,000. Uh, almost 140 then you get an additional $36,000 a year after per year for your licensing and maintenance. Well, now that puts it closer to $250,000 for the three plus years. And it's like, okay, are we, you know, did we have a $15,000 now it's offsetting, we're increasing of this much money. We're just trying to get an understanding of this technology. It's starting to cost a lot of money, not just your department, everybody's department. And it's now commissioned, if you go to page 26 on the agenda, you can see there, they have it spelled out of over an additional $100,000. It's just point of information for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, this $139,890, is that for one register? Uh, either one of you can answer that. It's for the two registers. It's two it, registers. It's the, uh, the service contract that includes the maintenance and all that. So. I guess I could direct it. Well, you know what? I guess I can just answer my own question. This is for an Epson, and all, this register does all of this. Epson receipt printer, check scanner, cash drawers, software at a service licensing. All of that's included with this cost. Is that correct? Yes, sir. If you're looking to uh, page 15 of the uh, recommendation sheet, that is accurate. Okay. I'm looking at 25 on mine. It's 15 on yours. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. I don't see... Any other question? Carabelli, are you up? Commissioner Carabelli, are you up? No? Okay. All right, seeing none, let's vote. Motion passes 10 to 0. Thank you, Commissioners. Next up is item 6D, contract for Can-Am Technologies, Teller Cash Register Project for Treasurer's Office. Motion from Commissioner Romano to move to full board. Support from Commissioner Duje. Are there any questions? Any more questions? All right, seeing none, let's vote. Motion passes 10 to 0. Next is item 6E, a budget amendment for the, from the Capital Improvement Fund land records back scanning project for the treasurer's office. Cost is $110,000. I'll take a motion to move to full board. Motion from Commissioner Brown, support from Commissioner Haw. Go ahead, Jaco. 
Uh, <clears throat> the treasurer would like us to uh, dig digitize the landfall records for Macomb County. Uh, landfall records are stored in two locations, uh, records dated back uh, prior to 1999 are stored at the warehouse and then after 99 to present are stored on the second floor of this building. Uh, digitizing the landfall records ensures that uh, they are preserved and can be retrieved as needed by the treasurer's office. Some of the uh, concerns is the age of the documents, preserving those documents. Uh, you know, when, once they're scanned in, at least they preserved at that point in time. Um, and obviously the, the capturing will uh, safeguard against uh, further de deterioration. Uh, we are asking for a budget amendment of $110,000. Thank you, Jaco. Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, was this originally budgeted? Yes, this was in the original budget. Okay. The next question is, is Jaco, you can help me. I know there's been more than one department. I know for sure it was last year that the um, Canis Miller Public Works uh, yeah. money was spent for the uh, same kind of program? Or, yep. Uh, that's correct. There's actually, that's actually the next item on the agenda. Um, and we've done this in the past with other departments. Um, That's correct. Is there additional, uh, to your knowledge, outside of what's asking to be approved now that needs to be done that will be coming up later? Is this something that can be bundled to save the county money? I no, this is just back scanning. And we came with a similar project uh, for prosecutors uh, last month. You know, it's kind of the sim a similar thing with the prosecutor's office. We've, we've been doing this for a long time because uh, they have a lot of backlog and we've been scanning I think for the past two years. We did a similar project for Board of Commissioners um, at some point when we went to the new system. At that point in time we back scanned all the uh, meeting documents and so forth. Is so we're going through each, the, depart the, each department and doing the back scanning first. There is potential workflows at a later time but that's a complete different project and if and when we get to those, we will come back to this uh, group and obviously put it, put it the appropriate money in the capital budget. The last question I have for you, is this something where each department's manpower is doing this or is your department doing it or is the vendor doing the actual physical work? The vendors is actually doing a physical work. We, what we do is we started this with the prosecutors as actually with the Board of Commissioners. We hire uh, scanners at $12 an hour that come and uh, do the work for us. And there's a process to it, and they trained, and once they trained, it's an ongoing process. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Commissioner Ha. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chair. Did you indicate um, what record, or are we doing records before 1999? We're doing the back scanning, which is the record. Okay, how far back do you go? Uh, that I don't know. Forever? Um, I don't recall off the top of my head how long uh, our legal ab obligation goes to maintain la land records, but uh, I believe at a minimum it's 40-plus uh, years. And uh, the larger point, too, is uh, we're familiar with the fact that there's efforts in the state to preserve historical uh, documents, and these certainly would qualify considering the fact that they affect uh, uh, land in the county. So our objective here is to preserve the information that uh, was maintained in the treasurer's office for future generations. And, uh, you know, we're very cognizant of how expensive some of this stuff is. That's why, you know, when you look at our last two budgets that we presented to this board, it was uh, first cut and then uh, below the rate of inflation. So we do everything we can to bring the most value to the county. We think this item would allow us to do that by preserving these historical records for future prosperity. Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Thank you, Commissioner Leonetti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Joe, don't go too far. I'm gonna I'm gonna rib you a little bit and uh, uh, promote Candace's office. Um, <clears throat> Candace got a grant <laughs> from the Army Corps of Engineers to help cut the cost. I think we're gonna hear about that next. Um, how come we didn't get a grant from you? I'm putting you on the spot, but yeah, uh, I'm. Uh, somewhat familiar with the grant. I don't think it would have qualified for what the treasurer's office does. I think. Uh, that specific grant was almost tailor-made for public works offices. 
Though okay. I will know we do try to make extra money for the county every chance we get to. I know. Make yeah, up I, for it when we ask for some funds back. We like your department too. Just okay. ribbing you a little bit. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Commissioner Duche. Uh Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, question on this and the other uh, projects that we're going to be scanning and land records and and all this does the re remonumentation that we've been going bananas with for for the last 40 years or so does that have any effect on any of this uh, I I am not sure and maybe Joe can answer that better I'm not sure if it has an effect on it uh, but there is a remonumentation effort going on separately yeah but does does that affect any of these records or any of this you know, uh, from Treasure, from Public Works, from anybody else. Do you know? And if you don't, that's fine, too. I know, obviously, that the, the monuments or land uh, marks are used for the meets and bounds descriptions that right. other deeds refer to. Uh, I guess it's sort of related that it, that information is incorporated in the deeds that we're preserving, but I would say they're probably treated as two different things. All right. All right. Uh, I'd be interested to, f f to hear about the process. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. So I have one question. So right now you said the files are in multiple locations because there's so many of them. When you finally digitize them all, break them all down, are they all just going to sit in the treasurer's office, one-stop shop kind of deal? So uh, we're rather unique in the state that we uh, in the state that we have the land file department in the treasurer's office that would be continued, and we would have all uh, land records that we have available to the public in the land file department in the treasurer's office. Nice and easy. Yeah, Perfect. And we have computers set up that should be easy for the public to access. Great. Thank you. All right. Seeing no other speakers, please vote. Motion passes 11 to 0. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. Next is item 6F, Budget Amendment Capital Improvement Fund for the Digitization Project for Public Works in the amount of $155,000. I'll take a motion to move that to full board. Motion from Commissioner Lucido, support from Commissioner Leonetti. Go ahead, Jaco. As was mentioned before, um, I think the commissioners are familiar with this uh, project. Um, I have with me here today uh, Karen Zernell as well as Lara Soharski from the Public Works office and we also have Greg Mausol from uh, the Army Corps um, who is the project manager for this project. Um, <clears throat> included in this packet is also a letter from Candace Miller uh, explaining uh, what was referred to earlier how the cost was reduced over time. As you can probably remember the original price tag of this was around about two million dollars. Uh, and today, with a grant and the assistance from the Army Corps, they have secured a low bid from the Defense Logistics Agency for $335,000. Uh, the county uh, is up for half of it, uh, which include a $12,500 in-kind service match. So what we're asking for is a $155,000 budget amendment for this project. Thank you, Jaco. Commissioner Leonetti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Karen, I want to thank you and your department and Candace, unlike our treasurer, for being able to <laughs> just teasing you, Joe, for being able to get that grant money and uh, obviously uh, bring down the cost. And Joe, I know you know I'm just teasing you. So thank you. Thank you for doing it, Karen. <clears throat> I thank you, Mr. Chair. This, this uh, program is under the Water Resources Development Act from the federal government, specifically for water resources. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. You're welcome, Joe. <laughs> All right, we done picking on the treasurer's office, yes. <laughs> Commissioner Carabelli. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I guess if Steve doesn't mind, I'd like to ask him a question. Originally, this was uh, budgeted for approximately $400,000 in the Public Works uh, uh, Capital Outlay uh, Capital Projects uh, dollars, and to their due diligence, unlike the treasurer's office. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it ended up being a lot less, 155000 out of the 400000 So we're making a... Uh, a budget uh, authorization and is it an amendment to take the difference and do what with it the difference is going to go into the contingency that I talked about on Monday 
Okay, and, and which isn't a problem, and I, and I mm -hmm. like your thought process, but I'd also like to see a carryover to say, okay, it was here, now we're adding this, and this is what we have. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, see, so this project will show up on the second quarter capital update, and there'll be a note saying that we, you know, approved it this month, and then the difference was put into the contingency. You'll see that contingency amount go up or down a little bit, depending on what may come forward between now and June 30. But Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Commissioner Brown. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what type of paper records are we scanning? What, what type of records are they? Hmm. They're all the, back, the, the background information for every drain in our uh, county, essentially. So legal proceedings, uh, bids, all the, um, the files, the blueprints, everything that has to do with uh, a drain uh, from the inception. So as you may remember, and as Candace alluded to in her letter, we um, also found microfiche. Uh, in our basement <laughs> for uh, and, and those are records and as we were trying to um, um, pare down the costs that we were we were staring at at two million dollars we were very happy to find 500,000 records on microfiche in a little cabinet in the basement that was done in 1980 uh, and so we were able to convert those documents uh, for a cost of twenty thousand dollars, which we we did, uh, and converted that to to PDF and TIFF files. So um, after that, it was the process of moving forward with you know making sure that we didn't have duplicative files there. And uh, so we we've gone through all the records. We've kind of called down. We've uh, made sure that we are in um, compliance with the. Um, with state law in terms of uh, keeping records, the records that we have to keep, some we don't have to keep for any more than five years. So we've been working at this, Jaco, for two and a half years uh, and very pleased to, to be at a, at a place now, Don, with our Commissioner, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Commissioner no Brown. <laughs> yeah, no problem, with, uh, with where we are with the, the rest of the range of the documents. What about, is there any gaps in the records? Did you uncover anything that was, you, know, you, you open up that, uh, office over there and there's sometimes there were gaps in records and you found some surprising things in the record sometimes you didn't find anything else anything unusual about the, the records going back is there anything that are well the unusual that is that they're very old some of them are very 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 old right uh, from the inception of the office some are done on onion skin you know blueprints some hand handwritten documents so some very fragile documents are they minutes from the the, the drain boards are yeah they, it might be some for me at them back in the day. So, the, so in, at the inception of all these drains, you know, yes, we have all those petitions and, well, yeah. Whenever I have time. It's, I know, at, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, I'm a history it, it's very things. interesting, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. I definitely think it's worthwhile you bring that office up to date and making it more transparent. Right. Which helps everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ari. Seeing no other speakers, please vote. Guessing the motion is going to pass. <laughs> Eleven to zero, <laughs> motion passes. Thank Next, you. thank you, Karen. Next thank is item six G, contract with the Department of the Army, Macomb County Drain Digitization Study for Public Works in the amount of one hundred sixty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Motion to move to full board from Commissioner Brown. Support from Commissioner Leonetti. Any comments or questions on this? All right, seeing none, let's vote. Motion passes 10 to 0. All right, next is new business. Any commissioners with new business? All right, seeing none, we will move on to public participation. Anybody from the public wishing to speak? Going once, going twice. All right, we will close public participation. There's going to be about four more of those today. So, um, And with that, this meeting, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion from Commissioner Gillette, support from Commissioner Duge. Please vote. Internal Services Committee is adjourned.
Adriana, what do we